Good morning from Riga, Latvia. We arrived yesterday um, on a four hour bus journey from Lithuania and we're staying in the most gorgeous spa hotel I have ever stayed in in a very long time. Um, we had an early start this morning, we're a little bit tired but we've had breakfast Again, one of the best vegan breakfasts I've ever had in a hotel. They even had Alpro yogurts. A lot of people think they're yogurts, they're desserts. I didn't eat one, but this just makes me so happy to see. We have a walking tour booked this morning. It's one of the things I really like to do in Europe because, especially on your first day, it helps you find your bearings, you learn some interesting facts, and yeah, it's just a fun thing to do. So we're gonna do that now, we're gonna walk down. I won't show you the hotel in this vlog just because I've taken loads of photos um, when we arrived and it will be on the blog very soon. Here's just a quick look at the hotel. Okay, it's definitely chillier here in Riga than it was in Lithuania. But I think that's just the case everywhere because I've heard it's getting colder in London too. Um, we're risking it without a jacket just because I feel like the sun will start to come out. It's still a little bit early in the morning and when you're doing a walking tour you don't want to be carrying loads of things and getting all hot and sweaty. So fingers crossed it doesn't get too cold. So we're just walking through this park. We walked through it last night. It's right across the road from our hotel. And actually I'm not sure why we're going back onto the main road. <laughs> but anyway. Just walked around a lot of this park. I don't know what it is, but it is really picturesque with like small bridges, various boats you can hire. There's a big monument here, which seems to be really popular. Um, there's so many people here photographing it, but again, until I do the walking tour, I actually don't know <laughs> what I'm looking at or where I'm going. So we're just on our way there now. Oh, McDonald's, this is the first like chain place I have seen on my travels throughout Lithuania and Latvia. And it just ruins the vibe, you know, like nobody wants this. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that Costa Coffee way in the distance, but personally I find that really annoying. <laughs> in Lithuania, they don't have Starbucks, Costa, any of the chain coffee shops, and I love that for them. Um, I thought that was the case all throughout the Baltic states, but evidently not. Um, before using the public restrooms, please turn off your holographic girlfriends. <laughs> I urge you to visit St. Peter's. It's a magnificent object. Dates back to the 1200s. Nine euros will get you in an old Soviet elevator. A little bit scary. Up to the top, and from there you can see the fortress of Riga. You can see the very footprint. The window, probably into like the 1500s, how it would have looked. But these storehouses, buildings built by merchants to store their product to keep them safe dry and empty. and these without that foundation you're just sinking into the riverbed again so these buildings here just like the ones we looked around the corner um, practical places at one time this was a serious commercial business right times change and this is known as the house of blackheads the house of blackheads comes from a brotherhood not from riga we have to get in a bus again and go to Tallinn. The Brotherhood of Blackheads is formed in the 1300s. Because of all the mix of architectural styles here, um, Riga is used as a filming location quite a lot. There's a sign that's just gone up that says hotel, but actually it's a bank. Um, but they are filming as if they are in Vienna at the moment. Hence why that sign has gone up like that, which I think is so funny. Many, many things. You would have a physician, a doctor, a priest, things like this, or perhaps a baker. Latvian society, only 63% of Latvians speak Latvian as a mother tongue. Obsolete, it was no longer a military <laughs> object. <laughs> Recognisable objects in Riga, because if you go to the souvenir shops, it's fridge magnets of cats, right? We've just come to a vegetarian buffet restaurant, like literally in the middle of nowhere. We had to get an Uber because it was, it looks like it's on the edge of a motorway, definitely for the locals. Service is really friendly. Um, we have no idea what we're about to eat, but I will show you. It's a really small, like family run type buffet. Everything is vegan, she said, apart from one dish. And they don't really speak English here, so I'm not entirely sure. Honestly, I don't actually know what any of this stuff is, I've obviously apart from the gherkins, the carrots. This is some sort of cabbage slaw, there's chilli con carne, there's a bit of rice under there, olives, mashed potato, tofu, some sort of soya in like a curry type thing. 
this is a broccoli and carrot dish. I just have a bit of like everything, I think. the Skyline Bar in the Radisson Blue Hotel and it is so busy we're trying to find a spot to see the sunset <laughs> but there's people everywhere Here's a top tip for the Skyline Bar. Come into the women's toilets. I'm sure the men's are the same because they're right next door. And you get to see the sunset from the other side. There were so many women in here. I've taken better photos on my phone. Um, just because this camera's not very good, you keep seeing my reflection like you can here <laughs> of my jacket, but you will see them on the blog. Good morning, it's another day in Riga. I don't think I vlogged much yesterday because the walking tour was really good. There was just a lot of history um, and it's a lot of information to retain, but it was really nice to walk around the old town. And then we went to grab some lunch at this vegetarian restaurant, which was really interesting, <laughs> kind of in the middle of nowhere. Service was not the best, but I wasn't really expecting it to be. The food was actually really good though, I just have no idea what it was that we were eating because nothing was labelled and even though it's a vegetarian restaurant, um, everything's actually vegan apart from one dish so she managed to point that out to me which was really good. This lift just keeps stopping randomly. Um, and then we went to Skyline Bar at the Radisson Blue Hotel. I'm gonna like put all the details into a blog post because there's so many Radisson hotels and even a few Radisson Blues in Riga. So make sure you go to the right one. I mean, you'll see it from the outside because if it hasn't got a 26 and 27 floor, that's obviously not the right one. And the views were absolutely stunning. So we're just at the Freedom Monument here and our hotel is just behind the trees to the left. We keep walking through this little park with a canal running through it but we haven't actually explored it because the old town literally starts at the, at the end of this road over there so we are headed that way in a little bit but we're gonna wander around the park, go along the canal first and then make our way back that way. To inquire um, about these boats but there's ones that you can pedal yourself I don't know I love the old town here it's really pretty but it is just too bright right now to be taking some good photos we're just walking around. I can't remember the name of this square, but we're gonna try and find some good viewpoints to take some nice shots. This sightseeing bus looks so cute. We're back at St. Peter's Church and we are gonna go all the way up to the top for the viewing um, platform, but it's just too bright in the middle of the day. So we're gonna wait until a little bit later, but that bus looks quite cute. It is, isn't it? Yeah. We've just left the um, House of the Blackheads We've pretty much walked around the old town in about 10, 15 minutes. I know we were here yesterday, but now we're crossing over towards the Daugava River. And just wanna have a look to see the views because yesterday we went to a vegetarian restaurant. We took a taxi there and I'm pretty sure we went over this bridge that we're about to walk over. So the House of the Blackheads is just behind this, which is the Occupations Museum and this is the bridge where the river is and we're officially leaving the old town. This is so nice. It literally feels like you're in a really hot country. I love water. We're going to walk along the river. We actually just walked up that bridge and halfway across and then I thought I want to see the views from the other side but you can't cross roads here so I think we'll just come down these steps and I think 
if you walk under this underpass you can get to the other side of the bridge been walking around loads we're no longer in the old town we're like in the main center um, it's aptly named centers and we're just walking around uh, looking at architecture we've come to this coffee shop called MIT M -double -I -T, which was on my list of places to visit we've not really had lunch today just a few snacks because we've been eating far too much but they had a vegan version of this I know it as Polish or Russian potato salad she said it's a Scandinavian potato salad but a vegan version so it's just got vegan mayonnaise carrots peas potatoes I don't know I feel like I've had this at somebody's house like it's come from a jar before and it was really nice but um, it just wasn't vegan so I really wanted to try it I saw it in the restaurant we were in last night as well but I thought now is a good time to try it we've also got some coffees and Jas has a strawberry chia seed pudding I don't know if you can see from here but this restaurant is called this place doesn't need a name which I think is really cool but we're now walking around the Art Nouveau district um, in central Riga and you can see some of the stunning architecture here but I'm going to take you down Alberta Street which is the entire street is Art Nouveau oh wow okay As you can see, this entire street is stunning. I mean, Riga is the Art Nouveau capital of Europe, but this street is really where it's at. Look at all the detailing on all of these buildings. There's like lions up on top of that one. Like even around the windows, there's like round windows there. They look so cool. Because the buildings on either side of the street are so tall and the sun's about to set in about an hour, it's not quite hitting how I imagined it would. I thought there would be golden hour if we visited at this time, but as you can see, the photos aren't coming out that well because the sun is literally just on the tops of all these roofs. Good morning, there's a lot of uh, live music going on here, but we have just We've just come to Riga Central Market, which was about a 20 minute walk away from our hotel. You probably can't hear me. <laughs> These birds are huge. <laughs> Let's see if I can make all of these fly away. He's unfazed by me. Oh my god, this one looks like it's about to attack me. Oh my god, this one right by my feet. It's a really weird day today. Like it's warm in the sun. Obviously you're warm and you're walking around, but it's actually quite chilly. Like when there's not sun and there's quite a lot of high-rise buildings. So I have a jacket with me. Or I've got Jas's jumper with me actually. Um, I can't make up my mind whether I need to wear it or not. It's very very strange, but. I'll show you the central market. I believe this is what it is. So there seems to be an outdoor market going on over there as well, which we'll go and have a look at, but I don't know. Also, this is literally the coach station where we arrived at when we got the bus from Vilnius and we got picked up an Uber from just outside there. So we're really close by actually. Okay, found it, Central Tirgus. I've established that Tirgus means market in Latvian and Turgus means market in Lithuanian. Here we go. So it's not just food. I think if you go this way, I've seen like a souvenir shop and various other bits. There seems to be like three or four buildings, I think, from what I noticed, and they're all sort of interconnected. So look, oh yeah, that's the vegetable section over there. 
I've had to switch to using my phone so you will definitely notice like a difference in quality but I keep coming back to look at these like leggings and socks they're made out of camel wool and they're like super super warm they're like 25 euro but we just don't need anything that warm in the UK. Um, if I was planning a trip to like Finland or Iceland, then yeah, but I would never need my feet to be that warm. <laughs> I'm sorry, I've never seen almond yogurt by Alpro in the UK. And what's this? Red fruit with dates? That sounds amazing. Oh my God, soy yogurt is so cheap, or well, almond yogurt, 70 cents for a pot. We spend about two pounds, this is insane. We're now in like the clothing slash souvenir portion of the market. We came back to the hotel because I had to transfer some footage from my camera because it decided that the SD card was full. So we went to Riga Central Market. That was quite interesting, but you don't need to spend very long there. I think we spent much longer walking there and back than the time we actually spent there. Um, we weren't hungry, so we didn't actually try any food and the souvenirs were all just like not great. Um, and the clothing section isn't the best. It's very much for the older woman, I would say. And then we went to um, the central area the central district went to a really cool like vegan cafe called cozy eat and that will all be on the blog but we had a grazing platter to share for a light lunch and it was really interesting really really nice but we had stuff like chia seed caviar um shimmerji mushrooms soy nuggets loads of different salady bits it was really good highly recommend came back to the hotel we're now going to go up to St Peter's Church Tower for the view. We are about two hours away from sunset, but I want to go there. I want to go check out a bar and then I want to come back and use the spa in the hotel for one last time because we check out tomorrow morning and then we'll figure dinner out. So I'm going to take you with me now. Oh, just the tower, please. No, just the tower, yeah. This is the inside of St. Peter's Church and the tower is this way. There's actually a lift here which makes things a lot easier. <laughs> This place is really busy, it's quite expensive. The entrance price is nine euro, which is quite a lot. Um, but the fees are good, I think it's worth it. I wish there was just a few more. It's about five minutes until they close, which is why I think we're the last two or three people here now. It's worth noting that this place gets very, very busy and I'm not entirely sure that it's worth the nine euro entrance fee just to get up to the top of this tower because essentially that's the Radisson Blue. You can't see. That's the Radisson Blue over there. So you have almost the same view from there. I know it's not the same when you're behind a glass window, but you get a drink included for the price you pay to sit in a nice bar. So I just feel like it'd be better if they either lowered the ticket price to five euro or, and or, limit the number of people that they allow up here at any one point because it can get very, very busy. We're just walking through the old town and this is our final stop. Black Magic. This bar looks really cool. We actually popped in there um, a couple of days ago just to see if they had oat milk for a coffee. But I think it's a nicer place for cocktails. So we should get a cocktail, right? Yep. Do you want to try chocolate and mint? Is that popular? Is it what? Is that popular one? Is it? It's a pretty popular one. Yeah. Should we go for that? Yeah. Why don't you go for it? <laughs> Black and yeah. one yes. mint. And one mint. Oh yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank you. Thank you. That's yours, isn't it? Chocolate and mint. 
Whoa. Okay, hold on. Okay, so I'm finally trying this drink that my friend told me to try while I'm here. She doesn't like it. Everyone I've spoken to about it doesn't actually like it. But <laughs> <laughs> I just thought we got to try it, right? Um, it's called Riga Black Balsam. The man on our walking tour said to me, make sure you try the blackcurrant version because it's a little bit more palatable, even though it isn't nice. So I got blackcurrant and just and got, I got the mint. Chocolate and mint. Chocolate mint. Which is a limited edition flavour that is just about to be discontinued actually, they just had a little bit of it left because the only other alternative was cherry and she said it's too sweet and we're not a fan of sweet drinks are we? So should we do a taste test? Yep, might as well do Oh, it. wait, dig in. Cheers, I don't know who cheers in Latvian. Might have you, might as well tough. Oh, so that's not. <laughs> no, I don't think so. Okay, ready? Oh Jesus Christ. How's it? Okay, let me try mine. It does taste a bit like alcohol and Ribena. Okay, I'm trying my one then. This is chocolate mint. Here it goes. Mm. It's actually alright. It's not just. It's quite nice actually. Sweet, very sweet. You can't have two of these. It's too sickly after that. Let me try yours. I think you like this one. I can feel it burning down the back of my throat. Yours is actually really nice. <laughs> it's like an ice cream with some sort of liqueur yeah, in it. That's it. Let me try yours then. Oh, yeah. I quite like the chocolate and mint. Why are they discontinuing I'm, I'm it? I'm trying yours now. Go on. Blackcurrant. Ooh, yeah. That's Ribena. What you mean. It's like Ribena, yeah. Ribena vibes. We just had a really horrible dinner. Well, mine was horrible. Was yours? Mine was okay. Can't get um, skewers wrong. Basically, just if you are vegan or vegetarian, research restaurants because and avoid the old town because it's crap for food, crap for service. It's a tourist trap. It's full of drunken people. But we've done a lot of walking. We've averaged about 15 to 17,000 steps a day. And we did not want to walk to the Central District again for the second time today. So we went to Lido, which was recommended to us. There's like chains, it's a chain restaurant. There's loads of them around Latvia. It's traditional Latvian food. But for me, as a vegetarian, <laughs> there was French fries, mashed potatoes, vegetable ratatouille, and mushroom rice but they don't use seasoning here this the cuisine here is not built for the south asian palate you have to ask for salt and pepper that's literally all there is so it wasn't great but it's getting really dark now you can barely see me I can't even see you hello anyway we're heading back to our hotel we're Ooh, leaving in the on. morning oh but anyway we're walking back to our hotel now we are leaving in the morning and heading home so i'm going to end this video here thank you so much for watching and i will see you on my next one wherever that may be bye bye, bye. <laughs>